Yeah, we don't talk. We're going to have fun. We mic'd we up. Phones on silent. It's a unique hustle. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy ECO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing, official Miss Jamaica Wait. Well, go on, you know, Modell, I want y'all to stop what you're doing right now at this moment and go ahead and hit that like button, that share button. Let all your friends know who Boss Talk Podcast 101 is on all platforms. They can find us anywhere, anywhere. But anyway, if you want to see our full-length interviews, go check it out on YouTube. Sign up for our membership and you get exclusive content, okay? So thank me later. Man, hey, man, listen, man, do what she said, please. I've been doing what she said for 20 years. It works. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, man? <laughs> listen, man. Right. Hey, man, I got a guy here today, y'all. Ever since I started my podcast, I always mess with him. I'm going to call him and say, God gave you to me. Like, you you boss talk, man. J. Cruz, we cruising, man. Thank you for coming on the show, man. You know what it is, man. I mean, <laughs> y'all lucky I didn't roll up in here with the hoodie and the jacket. <laughs> I love when you put that out, man. I yeah, start, I was still so, should reshare it. It's, it's going to yeah, be winner again. I'm going to trick them again. I'm, I'm, I'm going to pull it push out that again. I'm going to pull it out. <laughs> I pull that thing out. How, what size closet do you have? Because I know you be having a lot of clothes. I got that so, money. Okay. So, <laughs> I, got, I got more clothes than wifey. I bet. I do. Um, and shoes. Because I hold on to things. Because, you know, like this shirt that I got, right? And I'm, this could be any shirt in the closet. Right. I don't need it for three months, mm -hmm. but one day something comes up where I, I got the perfect shirt for the perfect situation or perfect outfit or whatever. Right. So it's like I hold on to like certain pieces of clothing. Now I have given away a lot and I donate and all that or even flip it a little bit, get some money for some yeah. of it. But uh, That's how I am. I do because, have more than wifey. Because don't you, don't you see that quality of clothing has changed? Like back yeah. in the days when you have a item of clothing if you try to find that same thing now it's like the texture change the the the, the you, something you know it, it, here's what i'll say right a lot of times we we chase like the brand or mm -hmm. like you know the name brand the louis the gucci or whatever i get it the fendi i look the, for quality uh, it, some of that stuff is very quality right, right. You, you buy those expensive yeah. garments and they they let their good quality they last i get that mm -hmm. okay but sometimes for the we pay name for stuff that's really just basic right yeah, yeah. so Instead of buying like Gucci or something like, you know, whatever, or something like expensive because it is, go to Ross or TJ Maxx and look for an actual brand that was mm -hmm. like existing at one time or mm -hmm. now it's not popular, but it's basic. There's no logo here, but the quality of the mm -hmm. shirt is going to be better. Right. And right. you only pay $12. For right. It. Exactly. Right. Because all people, you needed was a black shirt or something, just, you know, whatever. Exactly. What people don't understand, and since I've been in the clothing business for so long, is that when you go to like a Burlington's, Ross, um, Marshall's, TJ Maxx, um, they get even the brands that are still existing that is really good right now. Oh, yeah, yeah, sometimes. Um, they're misstitched. The reason why they get it, because these brands have certain standards. And what I mean, it could be something simple as a, a, a misstitch. No, 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 listen, it's funny. So there's you, nothing wrong with it. I know that. So if, uh, if they, if, because I used to work retail and mm -hmm. clothes mattered to me. Where? But, uh, I used to work at this place called G <laughs> Gabriel Brothers. Okay. It's like a, was uh -huh. it in where, like, what like city? It's like city? a DJ mask. This was in Pittsburgh. Oh, okay. yeah. You was like the main G guy? G G Gabriel Brothers. No, I was you like. used to be folding the clothes and walking no, fast, no. acting like you're doing something. I was. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know how to stay busy. Did not really be busy. I always could pull, pull that off. <laughs> Go ahead. I'm no, sorry. No, you're good. Uh, but I did work retail. So if they get like a whole rack, if they get this shirt and one shirt's off, they send the whole rack to the discount store. Exactly. Like, take it, you know, whatever. Like, you walk in there sometimes, you find mm -hmm. gems. Like, this is crazy. I can't believe, like, you know, whatever. Or last season stuff or two seasons ago. I get it. But, but they're, it's still but they're quality. core. But they're core items that really don't go out of style. Yeah. But and it's quality. For right. Sure. So yeah. try to find things. I always tell people just look for something that doesn't have something where people have mm -hmm. to guess what it is. Because when they, they got to guess what it is, it could be anything. If, I, if the rest of the outfit is, you put that shit together. It was I like a million dollars. Right now, literally, you paid 60 bucks. Within the next <laughs> month, we're going to have you buy three, four shirts, a couple of hoodies, at least two shirts, a couple of hoodies. Mm -hmm. I, I got to get them to you. 
I got to do that so I can keep, you know, I, I got to have my images popping in because he's our model. I just don't want right, to pay him. I need a little, I more, pay I like, him. I need a little more Jay Cruz in it then. The, the design. Okay, okay. Because yeah. Boss yeah. Talk is real big. It's big. Yeah. You got, no, we and did, I love it. But no, Jay this, Cruz was like this. I, I'm going to need one that's going to make it bigger. Is that, okay. the new, is that the new new? No, that's just one she I, did for herself. She got me big, boy. I like that one. I like it too. It's a nice one. I'll be doing different stuff. She did me one like that. Yeah, I did. But then. I like this one, but I like We got another one now that goes like this. I'll be changing it up, trying to get different things. Like Bun B. It was the one I had the green one where she had the boss. So you right like here. it small, like me? No, you like it small. No, no, I would. No, I, I kind of. I want more, J, like more of a collabo. Once, okay, you know, with some new Jay. Okay, with the Jay Cruz brand. Some, we got, got it. Some, yeah, let's half collab and little, half it. Like this. This is wonderful. I love got this. It. <laughs> got it. I appreciate it. that. Being I got right it. Man, I just know that you know when you when you the way you have been in Dallas and the mm -hmm. love you show in the city, man, and the way you have stayed consistent. I need to be a part of that. You know what I'm saying? You know, I, I'm tell you, <laughs> I, I really appreciate when certain people, like, from online, like, because I've been here for 12 years, like, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? When, like, artists, like, out, reach out to me and say, like, some sincere shit, like, I really appreciate that advice. I really appreciate the time. I really appreciate the phone call or blah, blah, blah. Because anybody who know me, like, I break bread of, like, experience with any artist. And I don't charge. I'm just not one of those, hey, I'm a consultant here's my consultant fee type of dude, which I'm not knocking, not knocking that's your hustle, that's what you do for me. You're 21, 18, barely making it. I'm gonna charge you $300 for an hour conversation about good advice. Can't do it. Philanthropy, you know, just can't ba do it. basically what, what I'm saying is, when I first met you, you came here from a situation where you was going out helping somebody that was having issues in the community. You don't oh, remember yeah. that, see? I, I remember when you first came, you like, yeah, well, we were just over there. I, I don't remember what city. It was in Plano, I think. Yeah. I did this. I'm like, that's what I'm talking about, see? Yeah. And, and I, that's what opened those keys for me to know that, okay, God sent me this guy because he's doing the things that you have to, you need to be doing to yeah. make a difference in one's life who may not have opportunity. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, to get, sure. you, you're making a difference. Last, that matters, last man. Last year, I did Cruz's Kids Got Kicks. See? Mm -hmm. We, uh, Five thousand uh, dollars donation from I just got hit dot com, and we bought sneakers, nice sneakers, like cool sneakers. Yeah, to wear yeah. For like about I don't know, like a hundred. We bought like about hundred and seventy five pairs with that oh, money. Oh, that's cool. That's and we gave it to foster homes and uh, mm -hmm. uh, single parent homes and stuff like that. That's Shout but I wonder with foster homes though, with some of these kids in foster care, do they get when they get like really nice shoes? Do they get like bullied and like people try to take their shoes well, and stuff like that? Glad you said that. Passos for Oak Cliff was the uh, nonprofit organization from Oak Cliff. Yeah. Uh, sh uh, shout out to Jesse. Uh, he helped me put it together because he does sneaker stuff. So I had the donations. I got the money. I needed a nonprofit to help me pull this off. And I reached out to Passos and they helped me out. Shout out to them. But they go out of their way to make sure they get shoes like these kids are already going through sh shit, right? Right. We're not going to send them to school with like shoes that. Is gonna is gonna like make be, make them a target, that's right? Right. right. That's they, what I was. That's what I was trying shoes, to see. Like, man, they're gonna, I'm getting eight up for these. I'm not even. I'd rather wear these shitty ones. I probably ones. sell yeah. it and yeah. get the Maybe money. Something like that, right? <laughs> yeah, for sure. But uh, no, they go out of their way to get these kids okay. cool, like shoes that are currently cool. Yeah, they just but, get them at discount prices right. from like. The was there ever a time like when you was coming up? You know, you going to school? Did you ever go through experiencing somebody looking at you because you didn't have my mom was. I grew up with a seamstress, right? My mom. Oh, was she gonna make my it. My mom wanted to make me clothes. I'd be like, "Mom, yo, these new, these new hot jeans or new hot black pants. is cheaper to like make these it." Z Cavarici. She let me look at this. I can make it. <laughs> they, 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 and did she? She definitely is an amazing uh, <laughs> seamstress. No, no, no. My mom was a furrier too. Like she knew how to do fur coats. Oh, and she I don't know really? if you know anything about yet. Uh -huh. Like the machine, that ain't nothing for uh -huh. machine for That's a fur is like right. shake the house. Yeah. Yeah. Work, you know, they they do this shit, right? Yeah. That's Her and my dad made coats in New York City. My dad one time made a coat. Helped make a coat for Muhammad Ali. That's mm. big. That's pretty cool. Uh, but anyway, so. Yeah, my mom would be like, oh, let me make them. She's like, look, you got them. And I remember, like, wearing them, but, like, you know, the ends weren't finished sometimes. Yeah. She got a little thread. Like, yeah. somebody would be like, yo, what the fuck are those? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I got Put called a out a little it. bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but that's a good thing, so man. Do that. you have to fight for something like uh, that? Yeah, yeah, for sure. I, I mean, I wasn't, I never, after the first time getting punched in the face in my life, I realized, it, does, it like, you're not going to die from getting punched in the face, not right? Not at all. Now, you get repeatedly punched in the head, you could <laughs> die for sure. Uh, but I've been tons of fights, lost some, won some, you know. But 
I was always like, we moved so much when I was young, I was always like the new pretty boy, the, mm -hmm. new, the new cute guy at school. So like, it was wonderful with the ladies. Like, I love every six months. But the months, guys like, hated you. School, like, ooh, new bitches, yeah. <laughs> you know, and but I, the I guys, didn't say bitches. I know, but the guys. Like, I, I, I was young. I was like, yeah, new girl. Like, I was, my dad was dying. All I cared about was just being fly and being like the new cool guy that hits the school, but then I always had issues with boys because it was like, oh, this fucking, you know. He yeah. trying to take all the girls. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. He thing. here for the for them gals. So I got yeah. beat up a couple times. Yeah, I can I imagine. Like, I gotta start fighting back, this is ridiculous. <laughs> so. Cause I'll, I'll, I'll be in a fight and I'll be getting up like, God damn it, I gotta run to the mirror. Mm. And but see so like the damage Cause up. I'm like it, Like I'm not even Like if I lose my fuck I don't care that I lost I got beat up at, at, at a nightclub years ago uh, I got jumped by two guys And they were both like Bigger and I Kind of like started the fight But I didn't Was you drunk? No, well, no. Hold on How I, long ago I, I, was this? This was like It was like maybe Five six years ago oh, Okay so, so you were downtown, grown Downtown Dallas Oh yeah yeah This is here Wow And um, I walked in between Two individuals Uh huh And you know, I'm a, listen, I've been working clubs my whole life. Right? Yeah, I, yeah. I, I, this is my first time ever, like, getting beat up in club. I, I mean, I, <laughs> um, but anyway, so I, I just know how to carry myself. I understand, like, you know, I can deal with, like, drunk people and shit. I just, I'm real cool down to earth, whatever, and people right. vibe off that shit. So, like, I be walking around. I can be anywhere, you know. Whatever. So I walk in between the two big guys, right? And the one guy, while I'm, like, sliding through, because I'm small, I'm like, oh, I can squeeze through. Excuse me, excuse me, you know, like. He like literally puts his hand on my shoulder and kind of like pushes me over. And I'm like- Like, let me help you along. Yeah. And I, he was bigger. Like, I don't weigh that much. He got, oh shit. Now, normally, so I went through something that second, <laughs> that the, that moment in my life, it was like, you know, you go through this, like, what, how should you react right now? You gonna yeah. let him punch Just you keep like that? walking. No, but normal me would have been like, bruh, keep doing your job, let's get paid tonight. This nigga's a clown, fuck that shit. You know, or whatever. Something in you said no. Yeah, that night I was feeling like, man, I'm tired of this shit. I'm, hell I'm tired. Of I'm a hell of tired of being the good guy. I'm about to handle my business. Tired of that shit. So I turn around and I look at him. He's way taller than I thought, right? And the <laughs> other guy behind him is like shorter, but like a brick. He like mm -hmm. wide and shit. And I'm like, fuck. But it's a, I'm in now. I turn around. I was like, yo, bro, what the fuck? Da -da 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 -da. Like, why you got to push me, bro? That motherfucker looked at me. He said, what motherfucker? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, what motherfucker? What you? And I was like, yo, man, that's crazy. And then the other dude was looking at me and I was like, yeah, man, fuck that shit. Yo, as soon as I was about to say security, I see not the, not the big one, the one behind him. Ooh, you wow. Gonna hit you. Yeah, yeah, because like they started coming a little bit, you know, and I'm like, yo, what the fuck? And I look and I see him and it ain't the big one, it's just the one behind him. And bow, he hits me and then the big one. Bow, so boom, boom, boom. I'm they taking, both I, jumped I, on you. Yeah, I could like, you get I, a, I Could you even hits. get a hit in? I, Mm, yeah, try. Uh, so wait, because I got hit with a flurry. I'm getting hit with a flurry yeah. right now, and it's heavy, like heavy blows. These are like bomb, bomb, right? So bomb, 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 and I'm, I'm on my feet though, right? And they're like, uh, then like I kind of stutter, and the one guy kind of kicks me too. Bomb, take Damn. a foot, bomb. Still haven't touched the ground, cuz never wow. laid on the ground, right? Because I was gonna, I was gonna say, if I'm gonna lose, I'm gonna lose, but I'm gonna lose on my feet. Yeah, wow. yeah. you understand me? <laughs> I'm losing my feet. <laughs> so so when I said that, I wouldn't touch the ground, bro. I was, they couldn't I, I, knock you out. I refused. Yes, I felt the blows coming. Two, boom, boom, boom. And then the kick, boom. I was like, oh, fuck. Now they kicking. And I put my hand down. I caught myself from touching the ground. I get back and you up. you pushed back up. And thank the Lord, security came over <laughs> and helped me. They because, had to. Oh, yeah. Well, it just took a second because I was in an awkward. I wasn't. Hey, look, bro, they can save the day. So as soon as, like, I'm getting up. Not to say I was about to go in there like, Rah! like a nigga, I was about to find a way to just pew, pew, get the hell out of the there. fuck out of there. Yeah, these boys was hitting me hard. Were you but like bruised I've up? I've always fought bigger people. Were you I'm like black and blue person. everywhere, bruised so up, here's bloody? The thing, right? I literally just had gotten a gig with the CW, and I was on. A, I was gonna record the next day. Dang. The night I get my CW thirty through my first yeah, break yeah, with yeah, them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can beat up at the nightclub. Damn. And you light skin, it's gonna show. Yeah, for sure. So, okay, so I get up. As soon as I like catch myself after the kick, I get up like I'm about, I don't know what's gonna happen. We'll see what happens. I don't know. Cause I, I, anyway, trying to swing. I could have I could have got a hit here and there, but it would have just been more like no. oh, fighting for my life. Security comes and he, they have them. Like they come on and grab them. And as soon as I see that, the first thing that I think to myself is, Run to the bathroom and check your face. Yeah. 
because this is like for me this yeah, is my job. money maker yeah, yeah. this is me like you know I'm personality plus the looks like whatever like I always talk that shit no, but that's true I ran to the bathroom and I'm telling I still have a scar like this gash right here uh huh it, it was open right? oh gotcha. yeah so I'm like oh shit I'm in the mirror I call my girl like I, yo I gotta beat the fuck up <laughs> <laughs> she's like what happened I was like I I should have just fucking kept, kept walking. walking. <laughs> <laughs> I did it. <laughs> She's like, I was like, I think I might have to go to the ER. The, the gash is kind of big. She, I, she I was frantic, I wasn't it. she? At the, well, no, no. She, mm, we, we used to this life. She's been with me since the beginning of my career. So we've okay. been in shootings and clubs. So she's yeah. not panicking. Okay. She's like, what happened? I was like, Man, I, don't know. I got lost. I lost the fight. Mm-hmm. You know? And she's like, what? and I was like, yo, my gash. I sent her a picture. She was like, I don't know. I don't, I don't think you need ER. I didn't. It healed by itself. She was right. Yeah. But no, she 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 remained calm. She's cool. My brother the other day was like, I'm coming to the bar. I'm gonna shoot that hoe up. I'm gonna shoot that hoe up. I'm bringing the goons. I can't believe that. It, who was you there with? Like, <laughs> let me talk to who. You ain't nobody. You know, he's like you nobody's yourself, protecting boy. you. No. Yeah, my brother's like a pit. So he's damn. Yo, what the? F- where you? What's going on? Let me come. I was like, bro, chill out, chill out. You good? <laughs> Yo, funny story though. I can't remember his name. Talking to an individual, individual years later, he says, "Cruz, you remember that one time you got beat up? You got jumped at the club?" And he didn't say beat up because he was being respectful. He said, "You remember that one time you got in a fight in the club?" And I was like, "Yeah, the thing down downtown on Main Street, the bank, I think it was called, or not the bank, it was called something else." He was like, "Yeah, yeah, you remember?" I was like, "Yeah." He was a first. That was my cousin, the one. This uh, how I wanted to start one. I don't remember. Okay. And then he said the other dude was his homie. He said, "My cousin ended up like." getting killed years later or something wow. trying to rob somebody or something like wow he was on a whole wow he was, saying that, oh, he was having a, like real bad period and he was just wow. doing all types of shit and I just got caught in the windstorm of his yeah yeah, yeah 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 and that, that's but, what, that's the way it be remember these words cause oh true story when I got up checked my face I come back out security like yo you good Cruz I was like yeah yeah man it's they were like my bad you know if we try to get here earlier but, but I mean they got there fast like it, you know shit happens like this <laughs> he was like yo for real though little man you took that shit like a G mm. <laughs> yo when I tell you you felt good I did cause this guy this is a big dude too right he's like yo you took that shit like a G bro he's like you didn't, you didn't hit the ground cause I got mopped bro like bow 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 and then they kick like bow like I was like fuck <laughs> like it was just like big suckers. ass like blows like so they suckers for doing that though cause it's two I'm, dudes I'm, I'm it's two also, dudes and they bigger I'm than also you. like a little brick so you you you, you <laughs> have your own so you <laughs> should, to you, me they should have been embarrassed yeah but maybe you should have gotten in boxing cause you could take a lick yeah maybe <laughs> maybe I should have <laughs> so I, I, I really I wanted to ask you about just coming up as, like I said earlier as a kid, like who is Jay Cruz? When you really think about was who is Jay Cruz? Like, like the 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 little boy to a man, Jay Cruz. Like coming it's a, up. It's a really intriguing, good question. I feel like it would make me want to write a book. Yeah, that's yeah, really that, that's that's what it's supposed uh, to do. That's a long story too, my G. But I don't know. I try to sum it up. Jay Cruz was. Uh, I like to I like to describe my family as. American born immigrants because I was raised by two immigrants, mm-hmm. but we were all born American and we spent most of our life in America, right? Like we lived a couple years in DR in Greece, but mostly we were in America. The first languages we spoke was Greek and Spanish and then we learned English, right? Wow. Right. So I always tell people, I was like, I was born American, but I grew up in a, a very different than your average American child or whatever, you know what I'm saying, mm-hmm. at first. So I was like an outsider always, you know, in a lot of ways. Pops died at a young age. That was like my, you know, I was like 11 or 12. It was difficult because you know, it's a really important time. And mm. child, child, blah, 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 all that. Um, moved around a lot. When, when, you, when your father passed away, it made things harder? Or yeah, I mean, yeah, for sure. Because as far as finance. Yeah, stuff. yeah, finance, all that. But moms ke- always kept it together. So it, 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 it's the reason why we moved to Pittsburgh when my pops died because... His un- my uncle, his brother, excuse me, was a priest in the burg at a church. Okay. So he was like, come here, come here, and I'll help you guys. And, and y'all were really close, right? It's me, dad? my mom, my sister, no, oh, me and my, my dad. It, we were close. I, I'm a mama's boy. Okay. So I run the mama. 12. So. I know, but I'm talking up till 12. He was, I was wondering, was he pretty close with his dad growing up? Yeah, but. His last couple of years, he was sick. Correct. Mm. Like, he was dying. 
So it was like this battle thing, you know, when they take a lot of people change when they're fighting. Right. Of course. They're, what they're, did you what did you did you feel bad like because of the way you had to detach or he detached himself at the end? Yeah, you know, I, I was still at a young age too cuz like so like you didn't think about it much. No, I did all the time, but it, it was more like he would say crazy. My dad would be like, I "Remember this one time." And this memory get me like it'll get me like to like tear up, almost cry, like instantly. It doesn't matter. And that's, this is so long ago. I was eleven. Yeah. But one time, like when he was dying, he sat me on his knee, like when he was in the store. He was like, "You still gonna love me when the worms are eating me?" No. In the wow. Yes. To a to a, a 10, 11 year old or whatever on his knee, and I remember just being in the store like. Ball and like, that's yeah, an image yeah, you don't yeah, like want it, yeah. yeah. Right, but he still, he, he was just trying to get you to probably oh. smile. Maybe. Listen, who knows? You don't smile with some let's say, yeah, some but it, you that. never know how he was saying, yeah, it. yeah, yeah. Because he, like, he was he liked to scare us too, so he See, was like that kind of guy, yeah, like, I know it, it wasn't something like, there, yeah, yeah. I don't think it was a ma ma necessarily malicious, there might have been right. a little bit. I'm angry part, but no, I think, like, again, he used to try to scare us all types of shit, so he liked to pull jokes on us, but the uh. He, he like, it, during the end, it was just like, you know, that's my pops, I love him, but he was like emotional and always like yelling and fighting and shit, you fighting for your life. The day I turned, cause he, he was what, like late thirties when he passed away. Oh, the day yeah. I turned the same age, I had an epiphany. I was like, bruh, he died. Cause he died a day before his birthday, right? I was like, bruh, he died like, to die in your late thirties, like that shit's young as fuck. It's very like, you think to yourself like, that's crazy. Like right now, it'd be over. And I, I went through something that day when I, you yeah, know, had that birthday. I can imagine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like leaving being, your kids yeah, and everything. Mad like as that. I'd be angry as fuck. I used to think, why well, he's so angry? But obviously, I just no. I get it, man. Um, but we don't understand things till we are put in that situation and gotten older and have children of our own. I tell my kids boy. that all the time. I say, you're not gonna understand right now. But later on, as you get older and you have your own children, you'll understand. Wow. I want to go to the radio station for a minute, too. Let me bounce around here a little bit. Like, you now fully in, engaged. I was listening to you the other morning over there with DD in the morning. And I, I really enjoy I'll be listening for you. I ain't going to lie to you. You're my guy. So I'm just trying to. I, I felt some, like that. Some guy, like some guy was trying to. He was like, I want Jay Cruz to ask me. It was some kind of contest y'all was doing. It's a thousand dollars. Yeah, and he didn't get nothing right. It wasn't your fault. He didn't. Yeah, no. There were some hard ass questions too. Yeah, I don't write them. I don't write them. <laughs> I don't write them. Sometimes I, like, I wouldn't have got none of these sometimes right. Sometimes they're they they can be a little, but you know. And then some people surprise us because we like, as kids mm, just you, or you get lucky, a little bit of luck and you, and pre preparation. I would say luck, preparation, and yeah, you a little smart as well. Maybe. Okay, so you came. You from over there? I remember you when you was over with. Vita and all the other stuff. Like, yeah, yeah, what yeah. is the biggest difference that you see now? Because you can fully see like what it was then to versus what it is now. Can I, I be? I'm gonna be honest. Be honest. The, the people. It's just different people. Just but different it's the people. Same systems. Certain things are a little different, right? Because it's independently owned. K104 is. Radio One is 97.9 to beat. Big corporation owns a lot. So the, the size of the companies that have the stations yes but overall personnel rules this night after covid like working at a radio station used to be fun because like and even in the even before in the glory days it was even more but even i had a, in my time it's just a laid-back environment people ran in and out it was just fun this that 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 and after covid that shit did cool like like I, so like the environment is different but there isn't that much of a difference is my point to your question so there is a change after covid Oh yeah, for, for in radio. In for the sure. radio, what's the difference? The, the 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 world is just nobody's. There's not that people aren't in the office. There's not that traffic of human beings interactions. Of oh, so y'all still don't have a lot of people at the. Yeah, it's like us. Who needs to be there? Usually, that's it. Not not okay. nobody extra. They just shut that down. Yep. And so do the celebrities still come in the morning sometimes? Still come. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Like I mean, who, they come who's somebody that just Damon Wayans? Damon Wayans just, just came through. Damon Wayans was there recently. Now we do zooms, right? Like yeah, zoom. we're supposed to have Diddy recently. They kicked that. Got canceled. We had Cardi B the other day. Uh, we yeah. had her on Zoom. Uh, Did y'all ask Cardi B about the? Uh, because I didn't listen to it about her. Um, oh, her husband. Yet. It didn't happen yet when y'all did the interview about oh, no uh, her husband that just um, and it, Nicki Minaj's husband. Because uh, 
so petty. There's, there's times when we get these interviews, but they the they ask us certain things not to not ask. Not to ask. ask. And out of respect, we we okay. Usually I wasn't honor did you that. ask her about the because she hit somebody with a microphone. Yeah, yeah, I know. That's yeah, something so. that you can yeah, talk she, about. That, she might have talked about that, but they, you know they asked us specifically to keep it positive and talk about yeah. stuff like because that. Because at the end of the day, those are things that still happening in people's lives where they're trying to figure out what they're going to do to uh, either compensate or or. Or just to look out for that person, you know. You, you know, artists don't like doing interviews anymore because, like, interviewers go out of their way to like get the question everybody wants, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, even cool. out of yeah. even if yeah. they, so a lot of jocks sometimes the they'll say, "Hey, don't ask this," but once you got them in that room or whatever, you ask it because it's like, "What's you know, what are you gonna do?" I'm, and now that the camera's rolling, I actually have the. Whatever. So they can get mad and for walk that off. moment, right? A lot of times they're just looking for that moment. So they ask hard questions or disrespectful questions or intrusive questions. You know, I get it. You can be, try to be a good interviewer. I understand that. I can respect it. But it, it's like when everybody's coming at you like that, I don't want to do interviews. What's Everybody the most, just pressing me. I get it. What's the most intrusive question you've been asked? I, usually like a I don't I'm not. I'm not that interesting. I don't get interviewed <laughs> that much. I, I do. But usually like. Like, you know, how I got in it, how did I do this or that, that kind of thing, or, oh, how much money you make. Sometimes, you know, people, eh, we don't make <laughs> as much that, as some, yeah, because yeah, we don't make as much as some people think, bro. Like, I meet people sometimes, like, especially young people, like kids, will be like, oh, well, you make millions of dollars, and I'm like, yeah, where's your, you know? <laughs> um, but yeah, sometimes they think, like, the glamour and the glitz pays, mm -hmm. but not as, not as much as it actually does. But you gotta understand, man. You 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 have a, and I'd say this. I'm gonna say this. I usually wouldn't say, but you got you known a lot of places, right? Like you you're. I feel like the way the internet receives you and the way people see you. And I told Mister Hit that the same thing. And I've told a lot of. I probably tell Vita that tomorrow. Like, yeah. There should. I don't know if there's clauses to where you guys can't do independent things, but. People know you guys, bro, mm -hmm. and it's it's definitely something. If you have the skill set, you can leverage off of it. For sure, for sure. But and, sometimes and, people don't jump. Yeah, yeah. No, I mean, I have other ways where I jump. Like you know, I have TV. I have like my like I have other outlets where yeah. I can make money and I endeavors and all that kind of thing. Because you're known face, like yeah, everybody yeah, sure. knows sure. you in Dallas. You can't go nowhere where they'd be like, "Hey, that's Cruz." You know what I mean? Right. I met that one dude. What's his name? Cat Daddy or something mm -hmm. at that place where mm -hmm. we was talking to everybody. Like, I don't know him. I just met him that day. You talking about Cat Daddy on yeah, Canada? Yeah. I never met him that one time. I was like, "Damn, that's him." That's, bro, yeah, he's, that's cool ass Cat Daddy. Right yeah, there. but I'm just saying, <laughs> like, that, you really just, I just know him because of the radio. Yeah, yeah, no, for but sure. But if I know him like that, everybody knows him like that. So there's opportunity that you guys hold that I don't know if everybody takes it, advantage it's of. Tapping it. into, yeah, and like uh, there's stuff I tap into. I would say, and there's stuff I don't. And it, I'll give you an honest reason because I'm lazy. Because I like I can't. I don't want to work 24 seven. They can be like, oh, you, you cruise, you should be doing this and this and this. And I'd be like, hell, there's no way. I won't have time to do ever relax. What the fuck are we talking about here? Yo, you could be extra famous. I'm like, oh, for real? Oh, sounds like a lot of work. I'm not back. Like, I, you know, I, I take my opportunities, but like there's times where I'm just like, you know, oh, you're going to do this because you should be doing this on front. And then, no, I'm good. It's not, that's it's a not lot. Because be, oh, when they come with these ideas, sometimes people are like, yo, Cruz, you should be doing this and this and that. I'd be like, look, set it up. Get it ready. I'll show up, do what I got to do, and then I'm out. And I'll do it with you, but That's you got to spearhead the whole fucking thing. The the, the maintenance of it, the it, uh, it, meetings, involvements, this, that. No, I'm not doing that shit. I'm not. So, oh, you should have a podcast. You going to run it? <laughs> you going to record it, edit, do, do this, make sure the shit's tight, boom, 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 boom. Let's do it. Other than that, I'm not interested in running my own fucking podcast. I'm That's not. Right. That's I don't want to do the fucking work. And I'm not. And it's some work. I'm not naive <laughs> to how much work things actually fucking take. Niggas be like, oh, you should be a TikTok star. Do you know how much fucking work you actually got to put in to, to build that shit? Not easy. Niggas throw congratulations parties when they hit a million or two or three. Do you know how hard those people work to, to get, get there? They're, they're, they actually got videos showing you like oh, when they started and how consistent. You're supposed to post like some like 10 times a, a day. day. That's correct. Could you I'm imagine? Glad you're That's saying true. that. I'm and glad you got a full time job. That. How? I'm glad you're saying that because a That's lot of people exactly see, it, what it they see it, kids see it and like, oh, I can do that. Luck happens. 
one hit from one hit wonders to yeah. you got a funny ass video, you go viral, boom, boom, bam, all that shit. Luck happens. That just that's that's luck. If you get lucky, you get lucky. Cool. But on a normal basis, most things that are successful and have a foundation take fucking time. That's but real. even the ones who get it. Period. So I don't get you can hit the lotto. Cool. You're a rich person, but you actually don't have any like any, you didn't put work into mm -hmm. anything. So if you were about to sell something, yes, you might be able to create a good product, but you don't have like a seller. You're not a good businessman. You don't know how to hustle things. You know, you know what I'm saying? Experience brings a certain skill that overnight success cannot give you. But even the ones who are lucky, you know, is there still don't have longevity because no. they just hit that one time oh, yeah. and they don't enjoy know how to keep it. Man, ride that shit, have pushing. a good time, baby. I'm telling you, get drunk, fuck that, all that shit. Spend some money. I enjoy that one hit wonder ish time. Some people never get it. So I'm not hating on being a one hit wonder, mm -hmm. but a one hit wonder usually doesn't have like a, a whole something right. to fall back on where he's bringing to the. Once you get that spark, what do you bring it? You know, you bring a whole fucking professional in something, whatever it is. But you actually put time and you're actually good at it. This shit will work. Okay, here, no matter what it is. Here's my next uh, uh, situation. Or I went. I gave Bun B a plaque. I uh, gave him a, a That's award. Dope. That's dope. Like I gave you a award. I gave a lot of awards out. I love it. You know what I'm saying? I got to meet my people that I care about in in Texas. What God put in in, in my way. I, I gave Larry Hoover Jr. one in Chicago. I give. I'm going back to Chicago in a few weeks. So I'm 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 popping. You know what I'm saying? I got you. But I'm popping so that I can show love to others, and I love that part. You know what I'm saying? But I seen Bun B. I tried the Trill Burger. We spoke something into existence. I say Bun. Who would you like to see come through that door next? You had Drake, you've had this, you've had you've had Luda. Who would you like to see? And he said, B. And lo and behold, because of what I said, the power of my <laughs> vibrational Shut voice. B, came through. B is they together. They, they, they will be together today. today. She will try that burger because today. Because of Boss Talk 101. She's performing yeah. in no, Houston. No, hell no. Because of Boss Talk 101. <laughs> Single-handedly. I spoke it in the power in the life. There you go. On her, on her performance. <laughs> she did it right yeah, there. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it was great. I, I love the fact that we've seen it coming. That's beautiful. We, Asked the right question, and I, what, how, how many times have you asked a question? You're like, dang, we talked about that, and it happened in my life. Yeah, uh, well, you talked to probably, a lot of people, so yeah, it's probably happened here and there. Uh, with some, I can't think of like one specific moment right now. Well, then that just tell you that, uh, hey man, I'm special. <laughs> yeah, not nah, for sure. You got the magic touch. You got something. <laughs> but I, I, I just I, have you tried a trip burger yet? I have not. You, you know, got to go. I'm going down there I got next a funny month. story about Bumby, right? I met him a couple times, bro. And I don't. I, I've learned through my experiences being on air and meeting a lot of celebrities. I don't. I try not to judge them off of meeting them one or two times. Correct. Because they're human beings, right? And sometimes they have bad days bad and this days, or right. that and whatever could be happening. Sometimes you meet them on a bad day, right? So, but every time I've met Bumby. He's just being real cold. Really? Mm -hmm. It's fine. I'm not. Again, I'm. You got this on tape. I'm not. No, 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 no. By any means. But that's your experience. Yeah, that's like your every experience. Every time I had him. like a chance, like not even where it was like a necessarily me and him one on one. I was either with another person or something, mm -hmm, and then like mm -hmm. just the interaction was always like it was just cold, mm -hmm. right? He's so, guarded. That's probably what it was. Probably, but then I've seen him very not guarded. Right. And you know, depends on who's around. Maybe somebody else. He. Have a better relationship. I will say this with with and it bothers me a little bit. And I'm gonna go on record saying this. In our world of hip hop and with our celebrities, I've seen a lot of times a lot of these artists when they come to us, when they come to these smaller black radio stations or smaller markets, when they come in there, they're real like they act real like super hard or not friendly at all, or just like real like, yeah, whatever. Like, you know, like just like, I don't want to be here. Like, a very not, very, like, inviting attitude mm -hmm. towards whoever. Like, they're just really hard on on, on, this, on us. And I'm not saying us like I'm a victim. I'm just mm -hmm. saying they seem to have, like, this cocky, yeah, whatever, like, da -da 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 type of thing. But then sometimes I see them on, like, a on national a national platform with a white host. And, boy, they are the friendliest fucking folks that day. Because it's on CBS or ABC or whatever the fucking channel. You, when Jimmy Kimmel got you on, you're willing to do it. Now, I understand you're on this small. I'm not comparing, like, a little-ass radio station with right. some, to Jimmy Kimmel. I get it. But still, like, how can you be so different? 
right? Mm -hmm. Like, what? There's no trace of that person when you're on with Jimmy. Mm -hmm. That's just weird. It, mm -hmm. Or it's a facade mm -hmm. that you know you could actually flex on us, but when you get in front of corporate where you see big lights and money and opportunity and success, your education comes back right. out of nowhere. Right. Or like, you know, you're knowing how to treat another human being who's just trying to do an interview with you mm -hmm. instead of just treating him like a piece of shit, right? Because mm -hmm. you're, oh, you know, you're laughing and giggling with Jimmy. And again, I'm just using Jimmy as an example. He's not. Right. But I've, in my experience, when that's something that's always bothered me with, like, I felt like our, and I, I say our, our, our people, our, our music, our right. culture, like. Man, let me tell and you something. I'm going to say this. Oh, you know, I'm Bun a, B, I'm a big fan say. of UGK. I'm from Texas. He came in, I will say he was he was not trying to hear it at first, but I just loved him through it. I'm just gonna be honest with you. He loved him through it. No, I loved him through it. Yeah, I don't give a damn about it. what you think, you my guy, yeah, and yeah. I'm not letting you get I'm talking at this is how I go. You know what I'm saying? And it's hard to get around me because I'm gonna I'm gonna say things that you ain't gonna even know Absolutely. about. How the hell he know that? Man, this nigga really loved to be he know how he, and that's right. the whole game. But that's the difference between um, being an independent podcast compared to the radio station, yeah, they're they limited yeah, on what they with say. what you can say and yeah. how you can say it and all of that sort of stuff. Charlamagne is a great example stuff. of somebody who made a career out of saying, asking whatever he wants. You're a bad so, boy. I don't, I don't know. I'm not going to claim to know how that show works. I'd be surprised that they get a letter that says... Or an email that says, okay, before interviewing this person, you can't say this, 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 no, or this. No, they don't. I don't think probably. he's <laughs> probably letting that slide. Now, they're a platform that you it is a benefit to you as an artist or whoever you are to be on because they're large, right? right? So it's a big deal to be on that show. So I feel like because you have that leverage, then you can make it more difficult. Like, yeah, we definitely gonna talk about this. Yeah, we definitely, gonna, you know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. the, the artist already knows they're prepared in their mind to talk about that shit because yeah. they know they're going on that platform. Mm -hmm. So, you know, every, every platform is different. I think it not only is every, every platform different. different, every interview is different because mm -hmm. that person or the way you interview or the way the style of your interviewing is, I think all that stuff is to be taken in consideration. You never know how a person's going or how they day is going. That's another thing. They day be going that's crazy. Said, that's what he said. Yeah, everybody. they day be going crazy you know, sometimes. Yeah, me and Two Chains, not saying anything bad about Two Chains. These are my experiences. He was not in the best mood when I interviewed him the first time, and it took like I had to like stop everything for a second and actually ask him like, "Yo, what's what's going on, man? Like, you know, like I I feel this. See, you like, mean this you, you stopped? How was it? Well, we. we was it live? This, your, your show is... True is, story. Was okay. it live? He had come... No, well, he, he when he got there, I, I knew he was coming. I prepared for the interview. I did my homework or whatever. I came up with this game called Two Chains, Name That Chain. I was going to show him a, like a flashcard of a rapper's chain. And I was going to, you know, name... who Who's the rapper? Whose rapper's chain is that? Two Chains, Name That Chain? Right. Just, you know, whatever. He's right. like, I don't want to do that. Cool. We had a basketball hoop. I knew he played, whatever. I was like, hey, you want to go back? I don't want to do that. Cool. So I had a couple presentations and... He was like, nah. So, okay, I'm to get, get those out of there. I was like, let's just do this interview. And I tell my cameraman, come on, let's start recording. And he was like, nah, 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 no, no, no video. And that's, that's, at that point, I was like, okay, stop. I was like, time out. And he might not remember this. He might say, he, this is bullshit. He, this is my, he might say, this is Cap. I understand, like, he's been what through hell? a lot in his life. No, no, I'm just making this clear, because this is video, right? Right. And we live in a world where this video might get to him or somebody. It will. Know, in some way, right? It might yeah. So this is a true story of my experience as a jock. And in, in radio, for a lot of celebrities, they do so many radio guys. To us, we're just like another dude in the, I don't remember that interview kind of thing, right? But yeah. this, for me, it was a big memory in my career, because, right. So I had to, I, I, I was like, two chains, yo, what's the problem, my G? I'm like, my PD, my PD specifically said, we gotta get video of this of this interview for uh, social media. We need it on this, da -da 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 -da. this was like already talked about, like what's, you know, and, you know, he's like, oh, I'm paraphrasing. I don't remember exactly what the man said that day. But it was in the lines of, like, you know, like something like everybody, now that he's hot, everybody wants to do this, everybody wants to do that. You know what I'm saying? Uh huh. Like a chip on his shoulder, almost kind of like thing. And I'm like, listen, bro, I'm, I don't rap. I'm not passing you beats. I'm just trying to actually, like, do a really cool interview because you're hot right now and you're success, you know, you're killing it, da 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 And I was like, you dope, you do what you do. I was like, I'm trying to make this dope and do what I do. Like, that's why, I, like, I put so much preparation, came up with games. Cool, you don't want to do any of them, I can't force you. But to tell me I can't record, 
yeah, this is a, pro- a problem. What you come for? In a way, no, right? No, I'm saying, no, hey, look, if you're having that bad of a day, reschedule. Why take it out on this? Who, however old jock in the studio who's just doing his like doing his thing like his job like whatever like you know what I'm saying like why go in there and take it out on this guy because they do I've seen artists take it out on like the, the interviewers the, the just you know how fast have you seen somebody I've seen people change like I they start know them what come. happened after that though oh, okay. after yeah after did you, you yeah, said did that you, yeah, yeah, yeah I'm sorry I'm sorry uh, like, you're right yeah, you're right I'm wrong yeah. right because we was about to yeah, yeah. we were gonna go all the way in she's like no finish it alright yeah. so. I'm like, yo, and I, you know, I was like, with the video, we just got to do it, right? And he, you know, he gave like whole, you know, I feel like everybody wants something now that I'm hot, da, 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 da. And I understand if you got a chip on your shoulder about how hard it was and you had to reimagine, you know, he did the whole rebranding thing, which was dope and all that. Um, but I was like, look, bro, I got da, 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 da. I'm like, I, I, like we got to do this. Like, I got to record. And he was like, all right, cool. So we started. And at, just at, just cal- just calming the situation down, calming him. Like, just, I felt like the, not that it cal- I calmed him down, but it was like me just having that short combo with him just got him on a, like, a, a little bit friendlier level where he was a little more relaxed. Because mm-hmm. I made him, I don't know what it was. Maybe he was stressed out. I don't know. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to claim. Uh, he didn't realize he was being such a. Yeah, maybe I don't, and I'm not putting words in his mouth. I see y'all recording. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't know how. I'm not gonna yeah. speak for his feelings, but for me, it was like after I kind of did that, it was able. We were able to finish the interview. We talked on there. We were promoted you able to the club. Video? Yeah, I, I ended up getting the video. Oh, okay. I don't have copies of it, but yeah, if we did it. If we were done, and then true story, one of the label people I can't remember his name comes up to me afterwards, and he says, "I've seen him." treat some jocks not very well through this like you Whole know like, you know I, I, right. and again i'm paraphrasing the man's words he's like right. and he you know, we've been doing a lot of radio interviews and he'd been you know he'd been bringing it to a lot of the jocks mm-hmm. there he was like that's the first time i ever saw somebody handle it like that and actually get the results yeah he was I like think that's that's all. i never seen nobody handle them that's like dope. that he was like nah. that was dope that's a compliment. Did that. i was like yeah because yeah. I, I didn't like you know i didn't right. again these are human beings i'm just meeting you for the first time we don't know each other don't know each other at all we don't so a lot of times jocks i and i learned this through my career like sometimes i was now i don't, don't want to say too friendly but too like oh man we love your you know like oh what's mm-hmm. like, like, strong, I, like i was with Bobby. high strong energy Right? Because some people don't like that high strong energy. You have to match that person's energy when they walk in through that door. Absolutely. So that's, learned, that's with, absolutely true. With maturity, I learned to bounce off how with their their reaction yeah. a little. If they were very like that, I was I'm, I'm a little chill. But before I didn't like read that right. with interviews because you know you'd get so excited or whatever. But they look at you, you as a fan at that point. Yeah, or or you just try to like. You, you try you do too much like right. oh okay so we'll it, or you know you're too many questions or mm. some of these dudes straight out the hood cuz got lucky on a, a, a song they recorded in the living room with their homies holding up guns and now you got them in a room hey so uh, where are you from how old are you like asking them 21 questions these motherfuckers we don't even talk in the hood like you're not even like you're not supposed to do any of that have talking. anybody ever walked out on you no no walk out never never Mm-mm. for real no no who was your worst interview? <laughs> Don't tell her. <laughs> oh, I kind of did an interview with me and Vita and the Migos, mm-hmm. and that that was that was terrible. They were very like. Again, this is my experience with them. I'm not talking bad about them. I don't right. personally know any of them like that enough to judge their character or who they are. I'm not doing any of that. In my experience, they were just very like. Again, not that whole mm-hmm. non-friendly, like, yeah, whatever, like, kind of. Now, I've seen I them do that to other thing. interviewers, too. But it was just, I remember asking them, like, you know, working with family. Because my brother, we used to rap. But sometimes it can get ugly because you, your family, it, y'all ever go through stuff like that. Which I feel is like a right. pretty normal question mm-hmm, for a group mm-hmm. of three people that are related. Right. And well, it was more, it was just like, yeah, nah, nah, you know. Like, you know, just that kind of like, I feel look like you in the eye during while you're talking or like, uh, I always say I felt like they was talking to me like I was stupid. And I'm mm. like, mm. I think I think I, you, you got to just you got to watch how these people, like I said, they be going through a lot. Some of them, like you just said, they don't have training. 
Uh, I didn't say the word training. No. I said it. That's the truth. <laughs> no, but the artists don't put it in the hood. It's the, the same thing. I know but, what you mean. But, 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 but when you've gotten so big, but when you've gotten so big or you've gotten to a certain level or even signed to a label, I feel like a label should have them go through artist development or something th before they do these interviews they to did. say, they they did. this is oh, how like they used you're to, supposed to answer these questions. This is how you divert from X, Y, Z, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to tell you why they don't. Why? Because it doesn't last long nowadays. So I'm not putting all this extra wow, effort in that's somebody crazy. that's, that's not so going to have true. longevity. Mm -hmm. Now, if they see longevity in something, trust me, I think they do that. Well, they me, protect it. They put things around it. Like, don't do interviews. Don't do this. Don't do that. Let's, you know what I mean? You, they start to, like, come in and, like, you know. But I just feel like with a lot of them, they don't have the, the faith because it's a business for them, you know. And, and now, and now you can do it on oh, your own, too. So, like, a lot of these artists, man, they're, they're getting successful on their own. Mm-hmm. So there's nobody to even come in and be like, hey, you need artist development. They're like, nah, bitch, I'm making, I'm doing millions on YouTube. Like, shut up. And some of these artists, to me, I've heard them say this. All they want to do is rap. They don't want to do nothing else. They, that's what they come. They love rap. They don't, don't want to do nothing else. They don't have else. to perform. That's right. Young boy, I think it was last year, top selling mm -hmm. YouTube, top, the, the, top. He was up there with Drake. Him and Drake was like. Neck and neck. Imagine being neck and neck with Drake, and you don't do shows. Hmm. He kicking it. That never, you don't do shows. Is he the first person that ever done that? Uh, we live in a world where you can make money as an artist and not do shows. Like you don't have to necessarily. I, I get to ask a question because Miss Jamaica had to step away. Thank God. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You got uh, it. You got her too good. Yeah, she real good. You got her too good. I wanted to ask you about if anybody ever turned Hollywood on you. That was uh, 30 minutes ago. Yeah. Like, uh, like, you know, they blew up right there in your face, and you like next time you seen them, they were like, uh, yeah, I'm too busy. I ain't got time. I can't deal with that right now. The labels got me moving. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's, that's a good question. I, you know what I got to say, though? I got to be honest with you. I don't know if I've ever, like, experienced that because I don't really like... Um, you don't research them no more. I, you just, I, I, I bye don't. Bye. Yeah, I, I, God, I don't, don't want to make this sound crazy, but like, I don't really chase relationships with celebrities. Yeah, yeah. Right? You let it go. I, I, I'm not, I not, not even to let it go. I'm not good at maintaining like this communication thing where like, I feel like good networkers are people who like keep that line of communication open. Like once you get like a celebrity's name or somebody in your phone, you have to so, keep that flow of information talking here and yo know, uh, from a meme to a this to a that like to, you don't do it to keep that relationship yeah I, i'm not good at that shit bro not at all i'm not i have a hard time remembering people's names really yeah Who's I, I always say if i was rich little ronnie wanted little ronnie can i get you over here on the mic please hey. let's talk i would say if i was rich i, I, would, get, I would hire somebody over here get over here in the corner let's go you at home hold on let me get my so when you come in you gotta go to work the fact that ronnie just made this thing better swim. Welcome to the show. Running Mother F is in the building. What's going down? With Jay Cruz. I'm loving this. I just Cruz be talking. Man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> look at this. Look at the, the star-studded uh, event you, you pulled off here. Yeah, that's what it is. Call it what you want. We hero. You know Jay so, Cruz, my dog. How do you know Jay Cruz? You ain't never met this guy. Man, I don't even know. Bro, I'm pretty sure it's through radio. Yeah, we, we definitely, like, the first time we met was, I think you still had the, the Frankenstein. I had hair. With the really? blonde I had hair. streak. Thing I think, uh, I don't know, maybe I don't know. He don't watch me grow up. I did really. Yeah, for yeah, sure. So sure. he watched you grow and up. And that was a new guy coming in, right? So when I first got yep. here, I, I met Ronnie, and he was still like, like still, it was like the whole thing was going on. I don't even know if, if throwing that ass in a circle was recorded. You know, it, it wasn't out. right. Yeah, you know, okay, sure. Out. So it was even before that, right? All right, timeline was wise. Uh, but yeah, I met Ronnie early. Energy, I like listen. I say this. I, I've been on tape saying this. One of the most professional and Please. best performers you will see Stay. are the most professional uh, ex performers you'll see out of Dallas and overall in general. Ronnie is one of the best performers I've ever seen perform. He, yeah, he ain't never seen me perform. I ain't never seen That's perform, but I'm not, I'm not, no, me. You lying. Me, me. Oh, he never. I've never oh, seen it. And yeah, to be yeah. honest with you, I don't have to see it to know that the man's no, professional. No, you do. You do no, have to I see it. No, I know it. Because I done met some jokers that come in here, and, and I can believe that you're a professional compared to what I've been dealing with. I'm not with. trying to like... <laughs> Oh, nah, the shows are fun though. It is. From your yeah. delivery, my nigga, you oh, every single word you don't rhyme over your verse. Like it, you actually like 
the whole time there's an idea. You don't just, even if you making it up as you go, it's always a performance. It's always well yeah. done. It's always Appreciate on point. Jay-Z, I went to see him. Period. My wife sent me uh, to see Jay-Z uh, and uh, Beyonce perform, and he was one that he didn't, his, I was like, how in the hell is he doing this, bro? It was like, he was not rapping over no words at all, and it sounded exactly like the song. Well, you sh exactly. You can leave the hook in. I don't even you think, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, the hook I've been, I've been to a band, Jay concert man. doing him and Beyonce. Yeah, he, he, he doing it live. He got a band. That nigga, what? Well, because he got a band. And, and a light show. And a light, light show. show. Yeah, so I get it. I had never seen nobody do it like that. I done seen a lot of shows, bro. Like, like I was like, this is Well, no, I tend to think professional performances usually put on by artists after they hit a certain level and they know this is how to perform professionally. They don't rap over their track or sing over it. You do not. You can leave the hook in. You can even leave some ad libs in. But you have to actually perform and that's this he says every word and every verse and every hook like he you know sometimes rappers will skip they literally will let the song just play for a second and just be like <laughs> which i get yeah hood shit i'm not tripping but performance wise like that's not you know the best performance that's yeah 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 so you know and, and so uh, <laughs> how is it when you go to the radio station we was just talking about people going what to the mean? radio station like how is it how when you do your interviews up there what what is that like i've never been to a radio station keep in real, my life keep real. Keep i real. mean at this point it's like a template with me okay right? at any station like it's simple like the things you go in you got to expect the same questions yeah yeah you know what i mean unless you got somebody there that's on the ground that care about you other than that the same question. Same question. You know, it's their job too. You it's know, easy to know. To do it. So, and you better be ready to do some drops. And a yeah. lot of these artists can't read. Wow. Now, that, now ask, ask, that's what you should ask them. <laughs> Who come through there <laughs> they and read. they get in them drop scripts and them boys <laughs> be right there. <laughs> Like 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 like, like oh, Webby. Scary. Webby did that. On, like he did at the uh, breakfast club. Charlamagne, Charlamagne, Charlamagne the guy. He's wrong for that, right? That is wrong. That's a good thing. Oh, I think it was was it Mayweather too that had a yeah yeah. Had, well, they, fifty they, they I think fifty released really something he on him. Would say that I, I don't know so, if I ever heard. Of that is big. Like, how do you go in and deal with that situation? You just sit there and wait and try to figure out if they can get it. And to be honest with you, it's always like handed to like. The guy who does the the, the who who edits them, mm -hmm. so like they end up going in that other studio. Mm -hmm. Oh, and they so try to my experience. I haven't seen. You have to see that. Yeah, now one or two I've seen. Like they did it in the room with us, but obviously those ones knew how to read pretty well because <laughs> I didn't have to like you know. But yes, some Bro. even even the call letters can some be like what what am I, what or like you know what I mean. Yeah. So it can be difficult at times, but wow, he has a point. Yes, you do got to you when you're hot. You got to record drops because that's how you hear them on the station. We get them, we put them in the you know we save them and then we have them. Do you like which which J Cruz do you like? Do you like the ninety seven nine J Cruz or that the K one hundred four J Cruz line? This whole that's funny. No, that's this is what I do. What? This that what is what I do. Funny. Man, I'm different, I'm it's a different J Cruz. I'm not talking about it. It's two different J Cruz. It's two different J Cruz. Talking about no, let him I don't want to hear. I want to hear from I you. I feel like I feel like um, it's more steroids on him where he at right now. Just okay. just cause where where he was before, it was more of just him. A lot more of just him mm -hmm. having to juggle a lot of shit. Like I I would come through there and Jay Cruz is doing everything. Yeah, and interviewing you. Mm -hmm. He's doing everything. Whereas in now he can come in, he can assist because he know how to do everything. But he ain't there probably to do everything. Damn right, I was which really is good. beautiful. <laughs> No, he's, he's right. Is though. Right? Yeah, I know. I know Working what he looks like. From Pittsburgh to a smaller station to 97. And I've been to Pittsburgh where he worked at. You yep. went there too. Talk to some of them yep. people. They, oh, they, they yeah. Yeah. Was, yeah, yeah. Ronnie was there. I remember getting a call like, "Yo, we got a little Ronnie down here." Whatever. <laughs> that's, that's, like, oh, that's crazy. That's real like, it's one circle, full circle. Geo, the guy who hired me in Pittsburgh, mm -hmm. is my boss now. Here. Oh, Which that's hard. Crazy. That's hard. Oh, that's, right. that's real hard. Yeah. So, uh, it. <sighs> Those are really good points from Ronnie about when you go into uh, radio, like interviews, prepare for that kind of stuff. And um, yeah, yeah, I just it's the same. It's nothing different, but I am not the same person. Like, you know, I was young. I was clubs every night, you know, staying up till five doing strip clubs and hosting, which I still host and do that shit. But you can't get me. You can't book me every week. Nowhere. No, I don't do that. Well, I'm just telling you when I when I seen the the whole you know when Vita left because Vita will be here tomorrow when Vita left mm -hmm. and the whole breakdown to be honest with you and 
boom, you know, J. Cruz is over there handling his business, and then, boom, he's leaving. You know, that was a lot of trifectors, and I ain't gonna lie. People is into the radio. They're into your personality. Fellas, I quit my job during COVID. Yeah. How crazy is that? Risky, insane, right? insane, yeah. But I, because we have non-competes, so if I want to maybe try another opportunity yeah. in this same market, I got to sit out for six months. Oh, yeah, that's insane. That's a non-compete, right? So you got to think ahead. So it's like, yo, if I'm going to do this, 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 then let me do, you know what I mean? So... Again, I left on good terms. Shout outs to the Beat Radio One, great company. I might have to work for them in, in, in the future. Yeah. Yeah, who knows? Nothing bad to say about them. Totally great uh, opportunity. I enjoyed it. Uh, but I, you know, I pulled away because I think I felt like I needed a change or something different, and it worked out. But it was during COVID. I was nervous as fuck. You came over here. I enjoyed it. I I was, we, we had a good time with you. You know what I did start doing though? I started making beats. That's you not only started making beats, you was making commercials with clothes and jumping in and out of them too. You were doing do a that. lot of different hey, just, stuff. No, but that started one. back then. Did, yeah, that's another thing. Yeah. Called, started. <laughs> you was jumping in and out of clothes, you know, like the like boom, I got yeah, a shirt on boom. The shit. transitions, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just did one earlier. Shout out to all the brands who sent me stuff for that too. Um, shit, you want to talk about videos? This man's videos, one of the most creative he, he videos. Puts more into he's, it. A, he's a good actor. Like Ronnie actually like he, he'll play the role. He, he yeah, okay, yeah. So I, commit. You gotta commit. commit. You gotta I commit. I showed up to a video shoot one time, and we were supposed to do like this scene, and the the people I was with, bro, they, I was I was thinking to myself, there's no way they're gonna be somebody else. They're not good. And bro, when I tell you, they just couldn't. They couldn't like understand like your acting, right? So you got to be another character. You got to be this man. This man has fully nude in videos. Like that's how much <laughs> no, commitment. That's sure. that, I, you don't see that in artists. Like he is serious about his, his shit. That's right. I'm not blaming. I think that's hard, that's man. Blame. I gotta ask y'all about Dallas Fair Sorry. coming up. What y'all gonna do? Uh, I mean, it's, is it gonna be different this year? What about the history of the fair? Like, like y'all ready for this? Uh, I stopped going. What? I went last year, and uh, I don't want no. I wasn't, don't I wasn't happy. Leg, I wasn't happy. I wasn't happy at all. What's the problem? I just wasn't happy, Big bro. Big Dick ain't, ain't standing right. He, 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 it just it ain't it don't it don't hit the same, you know. It don't hit the same. My mama want to go for her um, birthday. You got to tell you. This coming weekend, I, I, I told yeah, her, I said, that's the only way I'm going. Right. That's the only way I'm and going. And why I mean, you don't like it no more, It's not that I don't like it. I just, it's like, oh God, how do I put this? And then if I go, I got to go with three, four kids. Like, well, not my oldest don't got to go, but my other three more probably going to want to go, and then the baby's going to want to go, and that means there's a diaper bag, and then there's yeah. diapers, and then there's milk, and then there's this. And then if Gino, my 10-year-old, or he's fucking crazy, and I gotta keep my eye on him, because he'll fucking do something. Uh, Mateo, he'll just be in the com on his phone the whole time, and I'll be yelling at him, because I I'm staying home. You see what I got? <laughs> I one, love it. Yeah. All that shit with the kids. <laughs> it's and it's expensive, and you're walking around, and as a dad, like, it's not fun, because like, it's if it's just fun. us and my, three of the homies, and we got bread, and we're like, fuck it, and we just gonna get a drink, and like, Let's go. Yeah. But he was like, hey, you want to take your family and your kids? Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Now, I, I'm a good dad. I, we go places. I, I don't want to be like, no, this is the worst parent in the world. No, I, I'm just saying like certain events, I, I will pass on. Now, if they actually want to go to go, we'll go. But I know it, for me, it's work. That's my point. It's work. It's work. When we go to the water park, it's work. It's because I got to protect this fucking family. Like, you know, That's I'm right. Papa That's Bear. Right. Like, yeah, right. Papa fun. Bear, like, you can't just like, Chill. No. Like, where's the girl? I got a girl now too. Like, something can kill. <laughs> I'm not playing no like, game. No, nah, that's that's real. That's, yeah, I like yeah, that. I got a girl that, now too. Oh my I god, that perspective, <laughs> that perspective is everything. Even with my boys, I was the same. Like, I know I made some mistakes with like being a hover dad a little bit too much, but I don't fuck. No, I don't play with my kids. I don't go to public areas and just let them roam, nigga. I gotta know my motherfucking like, kids. I need to see Where's them. My kids, they, yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't I play need that to be shit. able to run and grab them quick until they got out of the house. I get it. I, I teach their own. I don't tell people I cry when I left my daughter at Brown, nigga. I'm, and look where you left her. Where you leave her? Yeah, I know at Brown. And where? In, in Rhode right. Island. All right. At Brown. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> For sure. So, hey, so I, I, I'm being real, man. Like. I, shout out to the State Fair. It is you, a dope it experience. It is coming up. We got Prairie View and Grambling. That game, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, is yeah. it? I think that's like more, that? more so for the youngsters. Uh, we used to rave about it when we was young. Uh, right. Don't know why. I think it's just more so a big old melting pot of youngsters being there. So you just see people that you meet cousins. It's, it's fun to be it's there. Fun. It's fun. Well, what's up sure. with Deion Sanders? I mean, he got he held to a standard of winning. Now I feel like I'm watching. Uh, what's that? Remember the Titans? He I'm, can't, I'm can't for lose him one game. You know, I'm rooting for him today. Who is he playing? Oregon. Yeah. It's serious. Oh, this serious. Hey, this listen, is serious. Wait, wait. You know what's even more serious? Did you see their new cleats? 
Who organs? Their cleats, their organs and cleats, they change color. Bro, they uniforms always it's been always alive. mean as fuck, and now they got color changing cleats on. Do you hear me? Hey, if they, oh, y'all hey. saying that Dion about to lose his no, game? No, 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 I, I ain't saying that. I ain't saying that. I, I said listen, their uniforms is dope. If he wins today, like last week, I said if he, if they come back and win this, they got it. And they did. And they did. And I was like. I expected it though. I kind of felt it in my they, heart. I didn't think they were going to be Nebraska. I didn't think that was. It was Nebraska, right? The, yeah. Was they fought, yeah. Last week. No, 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 no. That, that, was, was, that, was, Col- that was Colorado that was, State. Yeah, actually. Colorado State. Last and week. It, before it was. That it was, was here. Nebraska, what was their second game? Oregon was, averaged fifty-six points, points a game. Oh, a geez, game. Well, we fit to bring it. The only way y'all gonna beat them is if y'all score more than fifty-six points because they guaranteed to get money. Yeah, they I mean, they guarantee you no money. Joke. Listen, you don't got that nice of uniforms and you're not a good team. There's no fucking way. <laughs> all, the sponsors, cleats, all that money coming in. That's why they look so good. They got color changing cleats. They on a new level. They, they about to fuck somebody up now. <laughs> that Colorado Buffalo magic they got over there. That shit. I need that magic I need that I, magic I, to come I, on I, in. I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm trying, I, I be waiting to see what celebrities gonna show up so we can oh, really it's been Listen, yeah. it was the first time in school's history that they sold out. First time in the history of the school they, they were sold, sold out. You, they show you pictures of the year before where it was like, nigga, yeah, literally yeah, like 15 yeah. people. Yeah. Was dead. I'm not kidding. The stadium for nothing. 15 people. Biggest stadium <laughs> in the world. Empty as fuck. What about now? A year later, packed. Niggas hanging off rails. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dion! The T-shirts off. Ain't no shirt every on. Coach, shirt every is. coach in America is super upset because this man, first year in, selling merchandise. It, Look, though, so, this morning, what I noticed on ESPN, they covering all the coaches. Oh yeah? All of a sudden, all the coaches all the getting coaches covered now. Getting they stories. getting these interviews. I, I was telling my girl this, I was like, look at this bullshit. They That's trying to make everybody feel to included. Everybody ain't prime. Like, okay, everybody ain't a Hall of Fame, yeah, the best cornerback. Like, he earned he, that. Let he him have that. that. He did. Yeah, and don't. he's got pizzazz. Like, yeah. it's not like, it, well, I heard this white caller call into a show and be like, it's because, you know, he he's so good at it, we get mad about it. And he was being like kind of yeah, honest, yeah. like, we, you know, he's so good at just being, you know. And I was like, well, not every black person has that kind of charisma either. At all. Right? So it might, another black coach might Couldn't come around it. and he soon you put this nigga on TV, he's going to be like, please get him off the TV. Yeah, so you, you see what he did. He ain't even he's like great that. No, coach. you see what he did. I take my hat off and I take my glasses off when I'm um, talking to people. <laughs> you didn't see that? Uh-oh. Yeah, Colorado they judged him for keeping yeah, the, the black coach over there. On. He was like, not what? ready, bro. Yeah, like, yeah. like when it come down to, to Prime been doing this since must be the money. I, I'm not sure, you know but, I, but I think the comment helped the sales. It had to. They have. sold a million because everybody. Them shades in one you day. bought them just to d- defy this old system controlled by mostly yeah. white men, yeah. you know, coaches, yeah. right? Oh, you take your glasses up. She, a million sold in ten minutes. Like it's just, it's, <laughs> he is pissing off. A lot of people, and He's I love that part. I do kind of love He's that part. He's changing the way things go, man. Another subject before I get you Ooh, off the show. Go he, ahead. I'm going to let you go. Did he do HBCU wrong, though? No, man. No, 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 no. It That's was a job. Bro, it'll, job. Never, bro, it'll never grow until somebody actually sticks with it, though. Yeah, but you got to think right? about who Dion is. Dion has always moved. He's going to move. He's not going to be with Colorado. I, 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 That's he, how he, he, he goes. When he played baseball, to when he played the, football, yeah. he just moves around a lot. Sports players, that. professional sports They're players, used to are shit. used to going where the bag at. Where and he's going to leave again. And he already went to go. Leave an sure. imprint there. For he didn't sure. have yeah. to do it in the yeah. first place. He did leave an imprint there. He will be leaving this college thing too. Got get I ready for him. that. I can see him in the NFL. Going straight to that NFL. It's happening for sure. I mean, but you're saying he's an, he's played. He actually knows. The, you know, he, he like, knows the game. Like, like you know, it's different. He and he's, got, he's always had the to pizzazz. Ever do it? Time. Man, this nigga used like to you call. Said, best to ever do it. He was bro. He used to nigga must be the money was one of the coldest moves done. Bro. I remember the game. He's on TV. He says, "I'm gonna get an interception." Da 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 da. And oh literally yeah. Literally, the game starts and he gets an interception. I was like, "Oh my god, bro!" This what? nigga had a whole. It was a real thing. He was a real he thing. Before he scold, he down there on the punt return dancing before he even scold, having a great time. Like, before the ball comes. Oh, and they kick it away from his ass. <laughs> I'm not kicking it. To and you. he's always wore his gold chain. He's always been <laughs> that guy. Like that's what I'm saying. That's a person. He thing. represents a lot of people. That, yeah, that, yeah, 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 for that, sure. That, that frees up that. in corporate pl- places. It might not be that they don't know the information. That's just not what they around all the time. So to see somebody flourish just like them and people like, oh, look at this swagger. Yeah. This black man comes in with swagger, swagger. And with, around these. And he yeah. himself, that make other people co- more comfortable to be around that. It's like he's showing you that I'm also this type of guy, but I don't mean no harm. I mean, I mean all well. 
That's it. I want to ask you about BG. Oh, He's shit. home. BG home. Uh, they right. showed a video where he moved his hair like that, and then he's you know he kind of looked at the camera, and a lot of people had something to say. And then we see him come back yoked up doing his new pictures. Like people, the internet took BG by storm. You know, like he knew it was there, but I don't think I, when, at one point I wasn't sure what was real or not. Like what pictures were real? Or right, not. but he came out right, and when he came out, think of being locked up for eleven years mm. or twelve years, and you coming out and you got to deal with life the way it is now. You hadn't been out here. Moving around in Bentleys and different, you know, Mercedes Benz, is people coming at you. How do you think that was for BG, man? I, I would, I would advise him to not literally join Instagram and social media yet. <laughs> I, I would tell him, don't do it right away. No, I, for I would. I'd be like, yo, don't do it yet. Like, do it slowly. Like, you just got out because it's 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 an abundance of it's opinions, guys. Yeah. Could you imagine, like every it's people judging you, like they, they don't know you. What's so sexy red face on his face already? Mm -hmm. like, I, I feel like an artist like BG, uh, you got the, the 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 legacy already. He need to come to Boss Talk and talk. I want we won't we won't hear from you. Won't we won't see your heart? Like people are already fans of you now. All right. you can do is win them over some you more. You want to hear him talk? It's oh, time yeah. to talk. It's time yeah, for I us might, to hear you. Yeah, I might what have to did go you go through there. when you was in there? Like, you know, like what was going on? What was in your mind? Did you see the game change? Because they got phones and computers yeah, and things yeah. like that. Mm -hmm. Like, were you ready for that? Like, because he they might be. Yeah, he yeah, might be. He might not be. Like, he came like, home, yeah. BG. Yeah, yeah. So the cash been, money, yeah, like he been he, on social he, media. Yeah. I didn't think about that. That nigga jamming too. Ready? That one boost is played. That he ready? He talk from his heart on there too. They go jamming, man. That's the way BG do it. He doing what BG do, and that's what we want. Let's be honest. Listen, tons of my friends when I saw them come home after doing a couple years, bro, they'd be in hell, they'd be sh in shape, and they'd be focused. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's what, that's that's what it's supposed to be, though. Focused, and they'd be in shape. And what happens six, seven months later? Beer belly's back, and they yeah, yeah. back to the same old shit. Which I'm not judging. I'm just no, saying for a lot of them, yeah, yeah. it was that kind of thing. But they always come home in shape. They always come home focused. Focused, always. And just unfortunately, and I, the environment usually wins. Over. I can't wait to hear that first. You know, project or that see that first video, the yeah. music video, it's gonna go hard. I can promise you. People are waiting to hear them talk. No, yeah, I mean, yeah, everybody talking the, now. Want everybody the, talk, wants the story, that's what I'm saying. Though. Everybody talking now. Everybody's talking now. Right, right. And you, hey, you BG. Like, all right, we got it. Everybody's know. talking now. Like, everybody's it's a lot, talking. it's a whole, like, generation that don't know nothing about you. For that's sure. Real. Oh, yeah, yeah. And for you can sure. get to them, like, you could just you get to them. You bring up BG to who? I ain't gonna know. No, no, kids don't know nothing. They don't know, they don't nothing. know nothing about this. And, uh, you, the only thing you can say that they might relate to is back that ass up, and that's it. Where they can be like, that, oh, I've heard that, or I know what you're talking about. But that ain't, mm -hmm. that's juvie. They don't know, even know, they don't even know Birdman. Them, yeah. They know Birdman through Young Boy. When you say yeah, Birdman, yeah. they don't know stun like my daddy, Birdman. They don't know the number one stunner. They, they, they don't like, know that. Put some respect in my name. Like, yeah, they, yeah, they, they know, know, they know. Oh, he's that guy, he's that guy. That's all they know. On the Breakfast Club. So, J. Cruz, um, what, who crazy. who do you see now in the in the in the Dallas world like that? The music, the new music. Are you are, are you listening to the new music? I, I mean, I come across it uh, to me like being because again, I'm not I'm not fully engulfed in it. I'm not going to pretend to be right. I would say. Uh, uh, I knew what you would say. Oh, damn it! I just had it. In my big head. big yeah. X. That's what big you got to say. I, I know would say, say it's the most standout for me right mm -hmm. now. Right where he's actually like. On TikTok and boom, boom, boom. TikTok just signed a deal with Billboard, where literally you can make it on the Billboard charts through TikTok. Wow, that's big. It's official. That's huge. That's big. Which is the world. Did you know changing. that? Oh, it's changing. I didn't changing. know that. Yeah, because you don't know, like a, 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 anybody at home with the nice, with the decent equipment can actually like literally like mm -hmm. change change his life without wow. the help of outside interference. Because you're that's literally crazy. on Billboard, so yep. there's there's something there. Like what? Yeah, I got. Uh, just Texas period, Mexican OT, he'll be here next week. That's so hard. like like it's it's and they in Atlanta I talked to him yesterday. Like it's it's people, the youngsters doing things, but I mean it seemed like the females is making the most noise a lot of times when you hear the big hits and they put the money behind them and they like sexy red say oh, my booty hole brown and it's it, going it, down. It, it, it makes sense though. You it's see that, what I'm saying? That's, that's, the, that's the biggest exactly the biggest music popular. fans are women. So now they all they doing is seeing they sell. They, they, they get they, behind they sell. Yeah, yeah, and I think there's you know this happens too with music. You know, it, it's going it's going for so for always a do bit, that. and then it goes back to something else. Or the, you know, it, it, there's a fluctuation of up and down. It's a roller coaster ride. I feel like you know nothing stays 
on top forever at no coast rain forever no no sound rains forever because i'm telling you this sound that we currently have yeah, in be, 10 years is not going to be the same sound yeah. i guarantee it, it'll be something different wow man i thank both of y'all for coming on the show man jay cruz we cruising i enjoyed myself always yeah. be honest, the little running mother elf showed up at the end brought it on home mr jamaica <laughs> showing right. love her up front i want to say thank you man jay cruz we cruising again hey, always man you know next quarter back. the next quarter before the holiday we're gonna have a christmas get together on this thing or something or we gonna we gonna do something for the turkey day i tried to get you to do some shorts with me last year yeah you yeah. got you owe me that man. Right, i, I right. gotta i yeah. gotta do my christmas shorts man all right boss talk i'm doing the cruises kids got kicks this year in December and if you Let's don't do if you don't do anything we'll definitely take a donation so that's for sure whatever you need all you gotta do is pick up the phone and quit being bashful and call okay. <laughs> check it man it's been another great segment of Boss Talk 101 what a boss is talking